You have 90 seconds to complete this problem. If you obtain an answer of C, please move on to the next question. If you are unsuccessful in obtaining this answer, please continue to watch the instructional video that follows. So an entry point into this problem. Remember that it is easiest to be able to identify the answer if it's in point slope form where I can identify, or slope intercept form, excuse me, where I can identify the slope and the y-intercept. But when I look down below, none of them are in that form. This is the closest one, and it doesn't have any fractions. So I'm going to start by examining E. When I look at this problem, I can see that the y-intercept, or the point on the line that crosses the y-axis, is negative 6. And I abbreviate y-intercept as such, and so it is negative 6. Now what is the slope? Remember, it's rise over run. And we look at the line from left to right. So from left to right, I have to go up 6, since I'm going up, it's positive. And then to the right, 4, since I'm going to the right, it's positive. 6 over 4, you can reduce that, knowing that both of these are even. Divide by 2 to get 3. Divide by 2 to get 2. So my slope is 3 over 2, or 3 halves. My y-intercept is negative 6. So I'm going to start by analyzing choice E because it doesn't have a fraction involved. I'm going to take this positive 4x and move it to the opposite side. When it moves across the equal sign, it becomes negative. And now I'm going to take the 6 that is stuck by multiplication. And when I divide by it, I'm looking over here. Now the first thing that tells me this is not the answer is if I look at the slope, remember it has to share that 6. The 6 also has to be shared with the back number. So 24 divided by 6 is a positive 4. Now, this is the first thing that tells me this is not the answer. I know my y-intercept is negative 6. That's a number in back that has no x. But the number in back, once I divide, is a positive 4, not a negative 6, which means e cannot be the correct answer. I'm going to take A, B, C, and D, and I'm going to write them on a piece of paper. From what we've learned from rational equations, it's my preference to eliminate the fractions. So if you have any fraction within an equation, you can go to the number that has no bottom or no denominator and put a 1 on the bottom. Now I'm going to go back to option A. I have a 4, 6, and a 1. What is the smallest number that 1, 4, and 6 all divide nicely into? And the answer is 12. So to get this to a 12 by multiplying, I take it times 3. Whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. To turn this into 12 times 2, to turn this into a 12 times 12. 12, 12, and 12. I get to now eliminate the bottom, and I have 3x plus 2y equals 12. What does that do for us? I want you to recall, if we look here, we have a y-intercept 
of negative 6 and a slope of negative 2, excuse me, of positive 3 halves. Let me rewrite that, positive 3 halves. Okay, so right now, I want to isolate the y. To move this to the opposite side, we get to do the opposite operation. So it moves over and becomes negative. I'm going to come right over here. 2y equals, it moved over and became negative. Now, to get rid of the 2 opposite of multiplying is dividing. Let's analyze. I have negative 3 over 2 for the slope and positive 6. I want a negative 6, not a positive, and I want a positive 3 over 2, not a negative. A is not the correct answer. Doing the same thing for B, I can do it a little quicker here. 6, 4, and 1. A number that is the smallest they all divide into would be 12 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 12 and times 12. 12, 12, and 12, I get to eliminate the denominator. 2 times 1 is 2 with an x. 3 times 1 is 3 with a y. 1 times 12 is 12. And we're going to do the same thing that we did up above. I want to isolate the y, so I get rid of whatever's not touching it, um, but on the same side as the equal sign. So this is a positive 2x, so when it moves across, it becomes negative. And now to eliminate this 3, it's being multiplied. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. I'm going to stop right here. I know this 3 has to be shared with both. Again, I have a slope of negative 2 thirds. I want a positive 3 halves. It is not option B. 4, 6, and 1, obviously we've caught on by this point that 12 is our number, so times 3, times 3, times 2, times 2, times 12, times 12. And I am running out of space here. 12, 12, and 12. I'm going to write it here. I have 3x minus 2y equals 12. <clears throat> when this moves over, it will become negative. Opposite of multiplying here is going to be to divide by that same number. We often say these are eliminated, but really negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just a positive 1. Okay, so I have y equals, and now what I use this here, a negative 3 divided by a negative 2. If you're not great, with adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, positives and negatives, use a calculator at this point, especially if we're talking about um, you performing well on an ACT exam. So I have positive, sorry, a negative 3 divided by a negative 2, which is a positive. Two negatives make a positive. 3 over 2x. Remember, this has to be shared with both. And a positive 12 divided by a negative 2 is a negative 6. Okay, let's go analyze here. I wanted a slope of 3 halves. I have that and a y-intercept of negative 6. I also have that. Correct answer is C.